Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed on this fantastic Friday. I know I'm doing blessed and hope the same for you. TGIF. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings to you and many blessings are yet to come. And thank you for the support and love as I am sending out to you. And if you can, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button. Even if you resonate with my video, can give me a big thumbs up. And if you feel comfortable, you can always drop a line. I always love the positive feedback. And if you are a returning sub, thank you for the love and much blessings and many more to come for you. And love and light and namaste to you also. And thank you for the love and support. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Are you having a spiritual awakening? And if you're not sure, these are the signs to let you know if you are. Guys, we're going on, a, everybody has their journey. Everybody is walking down a pathway to bigger and better things. And sometimes we have to go through things, you know, we got to lose our mind. We got to go through different things. We take losses. We have people that go in and out of our lives. But... You're going through these spiritual awakenings for a reason. It's just like the spirits, guides are trying to get in touch with you and let you know different things that you're going to go through and different signs. You're like, oh my God, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Should I take this job? Should I still talk to this friend? Should I still stay with this loved one? Should I still be with this significant other? You know, all these different things, they're we're questioning. And it's just like me going through my journey. Like I've said in my different videos, I've had different dreams that, you know, I was in an elevator. And God only knows, I do not like elevators. I got stuck when I was like six or seven years old when I was in Germany. And my mom was cleaning up these apartments in, um, in Munich, I guess it was. We were in Munich at the time. And I decided that I wanted to walk off. And even though my mom told me not to, being a hard head, you know, my mom always said a hard head make a soft behind. And I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> So I was pressing every button on there and got stuck on there for an hour, screaming and crying, did not know what to do. So after that, I was, didn't really like elevators. So, you know, having dreams like that really terrified me. So you will have a lot of crazy dreams. You will wake up sometimes at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning is basically your higher self getting in contact with you. You are rising to your subconscious, I guess that's what you want to call it where there's things that happen in your dreams that you know you might not be aware of during the day because we're all wound up and you know we're going through different things we got drama we got stress we got worries we got angers we got confusions that's going on so when we're asleep is when our mind goes free and it's trying to tell us hey you're going through this and you need to change this or you know you're on the right path or you're not you know you're not showing yourself the way you're supposed to so there's many different things like last night i had a dream about me being on a roller coaster i do not like roller coasters anytime i'm on a roller coaster i'll be like this you know like why you get on a look if it's meant for me to fly off or die i, I don't want to see it coming but in this dream i actually enjoyed it i was sitting with some people i didn't even know so i don't know what that is yet but when i looked it up they were telling me that you have positive things are coming on and you're enjoying the moment and it's like when you're starting a new job or you're pregnant or anything that's joyous that's coming into your life. You know, you could be getting married, anything, any signs that's positive. You know, if you're, you know, going down and you're terrified, there's, you know, you're not taking, you know, the things that are going through your life head on. So it was just like many different meanings. If you having these weird dreams, sometimes we are so deep in our dreams that because there was for a while I could not remember. Because it was like on a different level. My frequencies were so high up there. I I didn't know. But my soul knew what I was going through. And there are sometimes I can wake up with a big smile on my face. Like, you know, even if I didn't have a terrifying, you know, if, even if I had a terrifying dream, I'll get on my knees and say, oh, Lord, please, you know, show me the signs that I, what things that I need to change. And it's just like you'll go through these kundalini attacks or, you know, you'll have these chills. You might have hot flashes, you know, you might have sweaty palms, you know, especially if you're an empath and you have to deal with a lot of people that are like masking themselves or, you know, trying to, you know, keep something from you. you you'll get choked up. You won't be able to talk, even though you could have a lot of confidence, but it's just with yourself. It's like something that's telling you you shouldn't be talking to them. You know, you start to have sweaty pan, hands and you get jittery and this and this and that. 
So it's it's just like when you go through these different things, you're gonna have different awakenings. You're gonna you know go through these different symptoms. You might have you know a, a, a tit a tick or a twitch, you know that you normally don't have. Like right now, I'm going through a kundalini attack, and it's actually not bad. This time it's not bad because you know I, I've had videos before where I could <laughs> I couldn't even breathe because my heart was pounding. You know I had like multiple heart palpitations and stuff like that to where I could not breathe. But this one's actually good. I'm having hot flashes like a mug. And I'm too young to be having hot flashes right now. So it's just like when you're going through stuff, especially if you're an empath, you have to learn how to protect your aura. you got to be able to protect your energy. Because you can be around certain people that can drain the heck out of you. Like today, I thought, you know, I was going to go ahead and take a break and go ahead and, you know, hit you guys up tomorrow. But, you know, they're telling me to go ahead and make these videos. I'm going to go ahead and do what they tell me to do. So, it's, guys, when you're going through these different things, be aware. Keep your eyes open. It's just little things that you might not even think is a, a big significance to you could be telling you what you need to know about yourself. You know, like I said, you, you have spirit totems that come to you in different ways. You have animals. You have people that can come into your life. It could be total strangers. Total strangers can say something the exact time you need to hear it. You know, and it's just like when you're when you're trying to when you're going through your 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 negative thinking, if you have negative thinking going on, do not fight them. Rule number one, do not fight them. You you address it, you notify it, and you release. Don't fight the urge. Do not fight the urge. I remember I was watching Infinite Waters last night and it was like, dang, I'm hearing my own self saying the same thing. It is just like when you're living in positive and you're trying and, and you got the negative thinking going on, don't ever fight it. It's just like uh, when I make my videos, this is the best way to get away from your negative thinking. When you're out there trying to push positive and impact on the world, you don't have time to be thinking about all the negative stuff that's going on in your head because you're too busy trying to heal yourself and help somebody else heal. Because it's like when people watch my videos, a lot of them are coming to me for a reason. You're sent to me for a reason. You know, there's things that we go through. We're going through abuse. We're going through misunderstandings. You, you might have issues with your children. You might have issues with your family. You might have issues with your coworkers. Or you might, you're going through a path and you're not sure about where, what, if you should go left, if you should go right, up or down. All these are okay because... It brought you exactly where you're supposed to be right now. And I forgot to tell you guys, I'm all up in, into my message and stuff. I forgot to tell you, I'm listening to yoga music. It's from the Jungle Songs, the Morning re Relaxation Meditation. And I'll be putting that link down below. It just, I got my candles going this morning. And, you know, I always got to light my candles in the morning just, just to protect my energy. I always say a quick prayer because it's like with empaths, we will catch it. It's just like, especially with the neighborhood I'm in, I can, you know, I, I can feel all of it. Like this morning I'm watching Meet the Nelsons and they're eating a spicy food challenge and it messed up my stomach. And I wasn't even, I'm nowhere near, I don't even like spicy food, but yet it messed my stomach up. I was like, oh, hold up. <laughs> oh now wait a minute I'm laughing and laughing I'm like oh you know this is what I get <laughs> probably that's probably the reason why I'm still having these hot flashes but it's just I noticed that my gift is getting a lot stronger I'm starting to be able to recognize it now the thing is I have to practice on being around a large group, group of people which became an issue for me that that is becoming a challenge but I always love to accept challenges especially the new ones to better myself into a positive change so guys when you're going through different things and you have these different gifts you know you can probably look at some of my other videos that I've talked about you know indigos and you know empaths and Hayoka and empaths or INFJs or anything like that they might be able to help you when you're going through all these different things that you're going through because you never know it's just some people like yeah I might not be all up into that but you never know you never know it could be angels con trying to contact you and they do that in many different ways they do it in numbers like I've seen me and my dad's um, initials on the back of a license plate and it had 777 or 333 you don't have PRR 333 or Roz 1913 is like my birthday date 
and his birthday month and the date together. That's why I know good things are happening. You know, I, I get new subscribers. I have positive feedback. Even I get the negative feedback and you both you use them as a tool. And it's just like, you know, like my girl Candace said, you know, much love to you, girl. You know, you have to, you need to use your fear as a tool. You should never be scared to walk into that light and show your purpose. Because it, it, it's just like, you're only, only person that you're, you know, you're fighting is yourself. You don't allow people to hinder you or get you to where, you know, stop your life purpose. You should never do that. Don't be scared to step out on, leap, take that leap of faith and do what you need to do. You know, share that love with somebody. You're going through something tragic. Be able to express it. As long as it's not, you're not pushing out negativity because you don't want to sit up here and be fussing about a lot of things. If you're not trying to solve it, that's not never good. You know, if you're trying to sit up here and say, yes, this happened to me. But this is how I dealt with it. This is how I'm trying to deal with it. This is the steps that I do day by day to get through to make myself a better person for tomorrow. That's all you got to do. But just push out that love to people. It's all 11, 11, 11. So it, it's just like when you go through things like that, recognize your numbers. See if you go outside and do nature walks. You know, do you see owls? Do you see crows? Do you see, you know, hawks? Anytime you see those different things, or you might even have a vision of a certain animal, look it up. That's just your spirit guides are trying to get in touch with you. And I am not trying to hold you up today. I hope everybody has a blessed weekend and you be responsible on everything you do. As always, I keep you guys in my prayers and I always try to send out love and light. And namaste and many blessings are yet to come for you. Much love, peace, and be wild.